So are you looking to buy a timeshare? Well, you're in luck. They're real easy to buy. I'm gonna tell you how to go about it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and we are now into tip number 17 of my 25 timeshare tips of Vlogmas. And I just wanna let you know on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most out of your timeshare ownership. So if that's what you wanna see, be sure to subscribe down below hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. Let's jump into this, how to buy a timeshare. Okay, so timeshares are actually real easy to buy as long as you have the cash. Now, you can purchase directly from a developer, essentially go to a timeshare resort, or they often always have some type of telesales as well. So you can simply call up the developer or if you're visiting a resort, go to one of those sales presentations one of those wonderful sales presentations. Get yourself a free gift too. You can certainly buy a timeshare from the developer pretty easily. Now, if you're probably watching this, you're probably looking for ways to maybe buy a timeshare on the timeshare resale market, the secondary market that is flooded. I mean, literally flooded with timeshare resales. Obviously you have supply and you have demand. And unfortunately there's a lot more supply than there is demand. That makes it good for you if you're looking to buy a resale timeshare. Now there are certain perks that do not come with a lot of timeshare resale purchases from the major developers, but we won't get into that today. I'm just gonna give you a few places that you can go to find a timeshare to purchase. Now these places are probably gonna be similar to what you would have seen if you saw my how to sell a timeshare video. If you wanna see that, click on that right up there. The first one I'm going to recommend here is redweek.com. You can go there and browse ads just to kind of get a general idea of what they might have. But in order to see the full listing and to contact owners, you do have to become a member. So do take that into consideration with redweek.com. Now the next one is the Tug Marketplace Timeshare Users Group. They have a marketplace there. You can go there and search for resale timeshares reach out to owners. There are also a number of brokers out there as well, but feel free to reach out and make an offer for a timeshare. Next one I'm going to mention here is one that specializes in Marriott resales and that is ownertrades.com. Number of listings out there as well where you can go to purchase a timeshare. And another one, myresortnetwork.com. Plenty of timeshare resale listings out there to look at. Now there are some other ones that you probably see advertised in a lot of places. These are big things like sell my timeshare now or even timeshares only. What I've kind of run into them with, I have actually made some offers on timeshares through them, but they have extremely exorbitant closing costs associated with their timeshare resales. You do need to take that into consideration when making offers that their closing costs might be six, seven, eight, even a thousand dollars to close on a timeshare, which in my opinion is extremely high. And I'm gonna give you a tip in a little bit here on what to do, how to find closing companies to help close on your timeshare purchase. But yeah, so just keep that in mind when making offers there. They do have very high closing costs. Now the other place you can go, and this is actually where we purchased a few of our timeshare weeks, and that is simply eBay eBay is flooded with timeshare resales, whether it be Marriott, Vistana, Hilton, Diamond, I won't mention Westgate. There are just so many timeshares out there available for sale on eBay, and a lot of them run even, they don't even get sold on eBay, they end up with zero bids. But feel free to go out, check out some of the auctions on eBay. Just keep in mind that they will quite often have within the terms of their sale, how much the closing costs are, and who will do the closing. You usually do not have the ability to pick your own closing agent through a resale purchase on eBay. Okay, so now you have a timeshare you wanna buy, you've made an offer, that seller has accepted your offer. The next thing you probably wanna do is sign a contract. That is usually the best thing to do in any type of financial and real estate transaction. Just a simple resale contract to purchase that timeshare. It lays out the cost, when your first usage will be, and essentially what type of unit you're buying. So you know that you are now under contract for that specific unit. And if something doesn't quite happen exactly the way it should, 
you then potentially have reason to get out because it is not per the terms of the contract. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure you verify your resale purchase. So you might be buying a two bedroom Grand Vista in Orlando, platinum season. Well, how do you really know that it's a two bedroom Grand Vista Orlando in platinum season? The way you do that is with an estoppel. That is something that the timeshare developers make available to essentially closing companies and to sellers that kind of lay out and specify what the details of the timeshare are that that owner is trying to sell. So that's called an estoppel. Be sure to ask your closing company for one. You want to see a copy of it as well, just to kind of verify for yourself that what you're buying is what you're getting. That estoppel or some form of it from the developer or management company will also specify if there are any outstanding loans or any outstanding maintenance fees. So you want to be careful you're not buying a timeshare that has a mortgage on it. And in most cases, you can't buy a timeshare that has a mortgage on it because they won't transfer it to you anyway. So you want to make sure that you're not buying a timeshare that has outstanding fees that when they transfer to you, if it gets transferred to you, you're not responsible for them. So last but not least, we'll talk about the closing company. This is a company that essentially specializes usually in timeshare resale transactions, much like a home and you have a title company or a closing agent that will help transfer the deed and the title of a residential home to you. This is kind of the same thing for a timeshare transaction. They essentially take care of drawing up the deed, making sure that they get the funds in and holding them in escrow while the transaction is in process and then notifying the developer or management company that, hey, this has been transferred into your name. You're now the owner. Let them start using it so then the developer can go into their system and update you as the owner of record. So you wanna make sure you're going out and finding a closing company that is pretty reliable and does a good job, has a good track record of timeshare closings. Okay, so there you go. How to go about buying a timeshare. Keep in mind, it is very easy to buy and very hard to sell. So make sure you know what you're buying and you buy what you want because it might not be easy to get rid of later if it doesn't work out for you. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And to see more videos about Timeshare, check out the description box below for another Timeshare tip. Check out this one right up here on YouTube. They think you're gonna like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a Timeshare.